All right, Brewer Spring Training Day 14 would lead off with a J.P. Crawford double. J-Rod would strike off for the first out. A wild pitch by Fastball Freddy would move J.P. Crawford to third. A Mitch Garver double would make it 1-0 Mariners early. Mitch Hanniger would strike out. Dominic Canzone would ground off for the third out. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Gary Sanchez single. Luke Rayleigh would strike out. Sebi Zavala would hit a double. Cole Young would ground out for the second out. A Brian Anderson walk would then lead to a J.P. Crawford single making it 2-0 Mariners. A Julio Rodriguez home run would make it 5-0 and then Mitch Garver would hit a single. Nick Bennett would replace Freddie Peralta. Mitch Hanniger would get the third out. The Brewers would have another practical 1-2-3 except for a Vinny Capra double. A Dominic Canzone double, then a 1-2-3 would happen for the Mariners. Then the Brewers would go 1-2-3. Yoel Piams would replace Nick Bennett. The first two outs of the half inning would be a Brian Anderson ground out and a J.P. Crawford strikeout. J-Rod would hit a double, then Mitch Garver would hit a double, making it 6 to nothing Mariners. A Mitch Hanniger fly would end out the half inning. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Trevor McGill would replace Yuel Piomps. Dominic Canzone would hit a single, then a throwing error by Trevor McGill would happen. Then after that, the Mariners would go 1-2-3. Gabe Spear would replace Luis Castillo. The Brewers would ignite a rally with three singles and a double. Owen Miller would get a ground out RBI, making it 6-2 Seattle. Reese Walling would replace Hedberg Perez. Then the final two outs of the half inning would be a William Contreras flow and a Gary Sanchez ground out. Brewers replacements plus Tobias Myers for Trevor McGill. Brian Anderson and J.P. Crawford would ground out. Cade Marlowe would replace Julio Rodriguez and he would strike out. Here's a list of Seattle Mariners substitutions. There's a whole bunch of them that you see. Andres Munoz would replace Gabe Spear. Andres would throw a 1-2-3. More Brewer substitutions would happen, then Aiden Smith would replace Mitch Garver. Aiden Smith would fly out, then Spencer Pickard would fly out. Jonathan Klasse would strike out, yet he'd get the first, and then he'd steal second base. Tyler Locklear would hit a double, then a wild pitch would move him to third. Jake Ankiel would line out for the third out. Aiden Smith at DH, then Ty Adcock for Andres Munoz. Luis Lara would fly out to left. Reedy Mercado would hit a single, then he'd steal second base. Reese Walling would strike out for the second out. Juan Baez would hit a two-run homer, making it 7-4 Mariners. Ramon Rodriguez would ground out to short for the third out. The Mariners would go 1-2-3. Reed Van Scorter would replace Ty Adcock. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Jesus Chirinos double. Aaron Rund for Tobias Myers. The Mariners would go 1-2-3. Yathir Arianama would replace Luis Lara. Bottom of the ninth, and the Brewers would go 1-2-3. Brewers lose 7-5. Brewers prospective Brewers player of the game goes to one Baez. Let's head into Game 2. To start off Game 2, the Brewers would go 1-2-3. Bottom of the first, and the A's would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Lawrence Butler double. Joey Ortiz would get walked. Jefferson Carroll would strike out. Brewer Hicklin would hit for a fielder's choice. Ernesto Martinez would hit a double play. The A's would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Armando Alvarez single. Chris Roller would hit a double. Eric Brown would hit a single, then he'd steal second base. The Brewers would put up their first runner in a Jackson Churio ground out, then they'd have a 1-2-3. Jason Rosario would reach on an error. Cooper Bowman would hit a double. Lawrence Butler would get the first out, then Tyler Soderstrom would get an RBI ground out. Yohel Pozo would get walked. Hoy Park would ground out back to Evan McKendry. Gerardo Reyes would replace J.P. Sears. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. J.B. Bukowskis would replace Evan McKendry. Max Muncy would line out the short. Armando Alvarez would get walked, then he'd be moved to second base. Logan Davidson would strike out. Jason Rosario would get his RBI single, then Cooper Bowman would hit a single. Then Lawrence Butler would hit a flyout. Michael Kelly would replace Geraldo Reyes. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Rob Zastrzny would replace J.B. Bukowskis. Tyler Soderstrom would hit a single back to center. Then after that, the A's would go 1-2-3. Jack O'Laughlin would replace Michael Kelly. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Jared Koenig would replace Rob Zastrzny. Armando Alvarez would hit a single. Logan Davidson would hit a line out to center. 
Armando Alvarez would be caught stealing for the third out. Jason Rosario would strike out. Joey Ortiz would hit a triple, then the Jefferson Carroll would have a sack fly to make it 3-2 Athletics. Brewer Hicklin would hit a ground for the second out. Ernesto Martinez would hit a single back to center. Chris Ruller would pop up to short. Matthew Wood replacing Jefferson Carroll, then a Noli Paredes for Jared Koenig. Cooper Bowman would hit a single, then a wild pitch would move him to second. Then Noli would throw a 1-2-3. Eric Brown would ground out for the first out. Jackson Cherry would hit a single back up to center. Xavier Warren would place Oliver Dunn, then he would strike out. Then Brock Wilkin would strike out. Brewers replacements plus Bradley Blalick for Anoli Paredes. Hoy Park would round out the maximums he would strike out. Armando Alvarez would homer, then Logan Davidson would double. Jason Rosario would ground out for the third out. Tyler Ferguson would replace Jack O'Laughlin. Joey Ortiz would ground out for the first out. Carlos D. Rodriguez would replace Matthew Wood. Then the final two outs of Game 2 would be a Carlos D. Rodriguez strikeout then a Chavez Young ground out. The Brewers would lose 4-2. to two. The record is now 7-9-1. There is no Brewers perspective Brewers player of the game. If you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.